Hi! Today we are going to create a cupcake in Blender. We will end up with an edible render. Let's create a cupcake mold. Let's add a circle to the scene. In the menu of the left side, let's specify the number of vertices 46. Let's go to the top view. Press number 7. We will go into edit mode. We will choose select. Checker deselect. Selected points move in VAT. Select all, then press A. Extrude and change the scale. Press numpad 1. Let's move the Z axis down. Press out more faces. Now close the hole by pressing F. Let's make the right geometry. To do this in face mode, click poke face. Let's select all of them. Let's make an extrude on axis Z. Make the top of the mold wider. Let's add the subdivision modifier and specify the third level. Let's turn on the preview of the modify. Add Ctrl plus R edge to the top part. Duplicate the loop. Separate the loop into a separate mesh. Go back to object mode. Smooth the object. On the object data panel under normals, check the auto smooth. Let's choose a new object. Go to edit mode and select all. Press the edge inside. Close the hole and make the right geometry with poker face. We go back into object mode. Let's put origin inside the geometry. Shrink it down a bit. Press tab. Highlight everything. Extrude on the z-axis. Press tab. Smooth the object. Go into edit mode. Highlight the top planes. Lift them up. Next we are going to create the cream. To do this you must have the standard add-on from Blender. Let's go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, Add Mesh, Extra Objects and turn it on if it was off. Hide the ready objects so they do not disturb us. Let's add a star. We'll set 7 points in the appeared menu from below. Magnify the object on the Z-axis. Using the Edit mode, select the upper points and place them as close to each other as possible. Let's cut the model with loop cut. Specify 20 cuts. Select the upper points and merge them in the center. Make the tops sharper. Add the simple deform modifier. Let's choose the Z axis. Turn on the preview of the modifier. Set it to 180 degrees. 
apply the modifier in object mode. Now add subdivision surface. I will specify three levels. Don't forget about sheet smooth and auto smooth. In edit mode, turn on the preview of the modifier. Highlight bottom loop. Lower it along the Z axis. Slightly decrease. Highlight the loop. Increase it. Press tab and decrease Z. Select the bottom edge and lower it on Z. Slightly decrease it. Add a loop cut. Increase it. Select the upper loop. Reduce and lower it. Make the past objects visible again. And we put the cream on top of the cupcake. Adjust the size of the shape, so that the cream looks nice. Let's create the sprinkles. Let's add a cube and make it smaller. Raise it up. Stretch it along the z-axis. And shrink it down even more. Add subdivision surface modifier. Specify two levels. Apply shade smooth and auto smooth. Shrink it down even more. Let's choose the cream. Let's enter the particle mode. Add them. Choose the hair mode. In the render tab select object. Select the created cube as an object instance. Let's specify 50 in the number of particles. Let's set C to 3. Set the size to 0 0.14. Check the box next to Advanced. And in Rotation. Let's put 0 0.3 units in phase. Randomize also in 0 0.3 units. Change the number to 30. Reduce our embellishment some more. Hide visibility in the stand and for rendering. Create a background for the rendering. I'll add plane, enlarge it. Use extrude to add a back wall. Let's add the bevel modifier. Specify 10 segments. Smooth the background in the object mode. Switch to the material mode. Add material for the cupcake mold. Choose a color. Now add a material for the cupcake. Color it. Do the same for the cream. To add sprinkles, turn on the visibility of the cube. 
Let's add material to it and pick up bright color. And turn visibility back on. The color of the mold is too pale. Let's make it more intense. Now let's add material to the background and set a gentle color. Let's add lighting to the stand. And let's choose the type of lighting – sun. Let's lift it up a bit. In the transformation specify a rotation of 10 degrees around the x-axis. and 35 degrees around y-axis and move the lighting along the x-axis and then a little bit on the y-axis. Add a camera. Select the perspective in viewport. Press Ctrl Alt and New Bad 0 for the camera to apply the perspective. Now change the camera angle the way we like it. In the scene setup change the render type to seconds. In the device section select GPU compute. Choose how many max samples you want. I put 512. Go to the top world. Choose color. Then environment, texture and I'll load my favorite background. Choose viewport shading rendered. Press F12 to start the rendering. Remember to save the image to your PC when the rendering is finished. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to be the first to receive new videos.